up uh, in our village there were many girls who were like boys you wouldn't know if this one you understand you wouldn't know and yeah we used to play with our girls and sometimes you find that uh, we are throwing those big balls that we make with plastic you understand when you throw it and there's a tree and the ball hang on the tree oh you won't know who's a boy or girl. You just find the person who's running fast, climbing there. It's your neighbor. It's another girl. I'm telling you, we grew up in a village where our girls were very strong girls. That even when they fight, they used to fight. Like this. You find a girl is fighting a boy. I mean, maybe you are coming from such kind of a village. I never thought. But... There were some girls that, when you look at them, you say, ah, maybe this one can be my wife uh, if you want to marry. Because really, you must marry someone you love. Amen. If you marry someone you don't love, you broke yourself. You understand? Some of you already, you have a wife already now. And then, but when you look at her, she's no longer the same way the way she was, isn't it? Please love this woman Amen. and make her happy as, as she is. She might be looking like a mother or a grandmother. Love her. Amen. I don't know if you're hearing me. Amen. You, you know, what is important is what is love. Love changes a person. Amen. You understand? Amen. I mean, look at this, my mother. I mean, uh, at, okay, look at the, at the camera there. Uh, look, look at that woman. Ah. I'm honest to you. Uh, you must never marry someone you don't love. You understand? And if you love this person you marry, cherish her, make her happy. I found a secret. A secret is to make someone happy. A secret of success is to make what? Someone happy. Just make anybody happy. Anybody happy? I know it can be very difficult because either they think for you, you don't think for them. Either they do what? They think for you and they don't know what you are thinking. I'm sure you understand that. I mean, bring this woman close. Make, make her happy. Crack some jokes. I know there are some husbands who are very much tight. You understand? When you, you know, they are very much spiritual. When you see, the wife speaks, say, daddy, he say, Rabba katara, shakadaba. Rabba katara, shakadaba. Papa, katara, shikabara, yakadaba. I know there are those husbands who are pastors like that, that are always spiritual. Sometimes when you just say, hey, can you just say, mm, 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 mm. And you don't know what to say. Your wife, you don't know what to say. Can you bring food or what? Can you do what? I mean, the wife, she wants to do something just for the marriage. So, mm, 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 mm. If you say something, you hear, no, you know what? I will see a vision and now you, you are, you are disturbing me. See a vision. You are disturbing me. Mm. You, must, you, you must know when I see a vision or not. You must know. When I don't see a vision, you don't bring food. Now I'm seeing a vision, you bring food. So there are those kind of people, you understand? But according to me, uh, as a husband, you must be flexible. There's something that I'm doing, pastors, that I want to tell you. I wish you can go and try it at home. Don't go and pray by the time of sleeping. Don't go and pray. Don't do that. It's a mistake. <laughs> you understand? Sleep must be sleep. Finish everything. Finish. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> well, you must listen to this. Yeah, you know? And your prayer will be better. You understand? Because look here. Paul... The Bible says uh, Paul was going to Rome. Eh? And when he was going to Rome, there was in a ship. You remember that? 
there was a sheep, but on the road, there was a wind blowing. Those people who were there, they tried to take the cargo to the sea because they were realizing that the weight of the sheep is the problem. The weight of the sheep is what? Is the problem. They took everything out. And when they have done that and when they are tired, you understand? You understand what I'm trying to say? And now God spoke. Right, let's leave that. I, what I, what, you people, you love to love what? I, no, I'm talking about what is written in the Bible. The cargo must be taken. God bless you. Uh, the pastors that are here can stand. Let's welcome pastors. We need to clear hands for them.